Welcome back to MM Adventures. Today we are at the end of the trail uh, in Oregon. We can't really go much further on foot or by car, so, because uh, <laughs> the ocean's just right over there. Uh, so we've enjoyed this trip out west. I hope y'all have to as well to go with us and uh, we're gonna head back uh, let's easterly, go see. easterly soon. Well, and, no, uh, not yet. We're gonna go see some more stuff. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> The site of the Lewis and Clark statue in Seaside, Oregon, fittingly located in a turnaround area, is said to mark the place where Lewis and Clark ended their 4,000 mile journey and turned around and headed back home. Well, we're not turning around and heading home just yet. We still have several things to explore in Oregon and Washington and other states. So stay with us as we continue our Tramping West adventures. Project. Jefferson had to go through a big old dog. <laughs> <laughs> not really. Not without a boat. Every since um, I had the opportunity to play the old <laughs> PC game, the Oregon Trail, um, I have been fascinated with the Oregon Trail. We've actually traveled in the past along uh, many points. But this time we're kind of going in reverse. We headed back from the Lewis and Clark statue back through Portland and did a trip south of Mount Hood and back up to the Dalles on the Columbia River. We also took some time to take in the scenery along the Hood River Valley Fruit Loop, a 35 mile scenic drive that takes you through just beautiful areas of fruit trees, pear, cherry, apples, etc. Uh, wineries, breweries, lavender farms, just a beautiful area to explore. No portage for us this trip. And fortunately so far, no dysentery or other kinds of Oregon Trail hazards. We did drive across the bridge just below the dam in the Dales over into Washington before setting out on more adventures the next day. Stay with us as we head up to the Stonehenge Memorial and then across the Bridge of the Gods to Mount St. Helens. See you later. <laughs> 